What is up, guys? You got Not The Worst here, bringing another Black Desert Online video, taking a look at the patch notes recap for October 30th. Um, not a ton of stuff going on, but some interesting things for what are going on. So let's go ahead and take a look. First up, we've got this new Sail and Prevail uh, event here. It's five times the Sailing XP for, from what I can tell, killing uh, sea monsters. So yeah, you're going to get five times the Sailing XP for defeating this list of dudes here. So yeah, that exists. And then we've got a revamp of the attendance rewards. Nothing like super crazy. Shikatu seals here. We got some furniture boxes coming out, which is an interesting choice. And then a fine accessory box towards the end of the month uh, coming out as well. Um, there is a the community calendar event that's going on. So it's different screenshots to get put into the 2020 calendar um, that they do each year for um, the uh, new year, I suppose. Ongoing events, Halloween 2019, launch the Great Expedition, free game pass, screenshot thingy, community event for the costume contest still going on. Uh, as far as new content, we've got change the sea currents and the wind in the following areas. The Al Halam Sea will be applied. Uh, sea will be applied up to 20, and we, uh, sorry, currents up to 20, and winds up to 300. There's some new titles out for the Great Expedition that were added as well. Uh, Otter Merchant of Aquila's Eye, who used to disappear after one conversation, will no longer disappear before you've done several exchanges with him. Uh, Mayrin Pero, the connoisseur of Calpheon, is temporarily away from the, his place. Uh, class changes. Shai has the Kana's Naga disguise added. In order to get it, you have to complete the quest from the NPC Kana and Florin to get that set up. There's also some titles that go along with that as well. The energy potions, small, medium, large, and extra large, were changed to blue grade items. Changed the warning message for uh, guild items, the Lenar Celestial map, and the usage is now uh, Guild Master. You can now force enhance some of the Manos life tools from level plus eight. And that's Lumbering Axe, Butcher Knife, Tanning Knife, Fluid Collector, and Pick Axe. We'll take a look at the Pearl Shop in just a little bit. Monster changes. We've got the Kratuga Ancient Ruins. The uh, alarm security thing to spawn the latent dude uh, was adjusted to make it a bit easier. So level one was changed from one minute time limit to two. The uh, HP with level two security was decreased 50%. The AP was increased by 16%. And the DP was decreased by 20% as well. Um, the note on this is they just wanted to make it a little more reasonable to get these done as it was pretty difficult and tight timing. In fact, when I did grind there, I ended up just ignoring this because it would just take away from my... Um, silver per hour with a 10% drop rate on the um, latent anyways it was I just skipped over it to be honest with you uh, this update we actually they announced last week's patch notes but it apparently was not uh, implemented and they edited it later but we got skill XP increases 10% for Kadri, Crescent Shrine, Aukman and Histria, 20% for Bazzi, Centaurs, Manchums and Star's End, 30% for Pilaku, Sulfur Mine, Ronaros, uh, Blood Wolves, and Shirakan Day, and a 50% increase for Shirakan Night. Some quests, knowledge uh, updates there, a few interface changes, one with the uh, UI um, for UI scaling size. Uh, across there, we've of course got resolved issues for all sorts of costumes and that sort of thing. And a known issue aware of the intermittent issue where main weapon, sub weapon, and waking weapons are not being displayed while in non combat stance. They don't list when that'll be fixed, but maybe next week. For the Pearl Shop, we've got Artisan Moonlight Shard Pack. So you're going to get yourself a 30-day value pack with 100 Artisan Memories, 10 Moonlight Shards, and 10 Memory Fragments, along with 10 Item Collection and Increase Scrolls. Um, we've got the Weapon Exchange Coupons on sale for 7,000 Pearls. Uh, this one actually looks interesting if you need a Book of Combat. It's 1250 Pearls, and you'll get the uh, Enhanced Book of Combat, which is 100% Combat XP and 50% Skill XP for 15 days, as well as 15 Item Collection and Increase Scrolls. I wish this was a blessing of comma, so if I'd be on this. Um, a good amount, that'd be pretty great. Uh, eight shades of black for 110 pearls. You get four out of eight different styles of black to celebrate Halloween. We've got uh, the Halloween outfit set selection on sale, 2,200 pearls, available till November 6th if you're interested in any of those. We also have the Atanas Classic uh, and Anemos outfit sets available as well, uh, same length of time, November 6th. And also till November 6th, we have the Spring Blossom outfit, um, which is this one here. So that's it for the Pearl Shop. That concludes patch notes. Like I said, not a ton of stuff, but some cool stuff for what is going on. Let me know what you guys think about this week's patch or other things that are coming up that you're looking forward to in the comments down below. If you did enjoy the video, be sure to like it. If you're new to the channel, be sure to subscribe so you get notifications when new videos do go live. And if you want to catch me playing live, there's a link to the Twitch page in the description below. You can head on over there and drop a follow so that you'll get a post for that. Uh, with that said, that's going to be it for this one. I want to thank everybody for watching, and I will see you next time. Hey, hey, hey.